Glaucoma is a leading cause of blindness, globally affecting nearly 80 million people by 2020. This silent thief of sight involves optic nerve damage and visual field loss secondary to retinal ganglion cell damage or cell death. The eye produces fluid from the ciliary processes to bathe the eye. The fluid drains via the trabecular meshwork, aqueous veins, uveoscleral pathway, and suprachoroidal space. With time, the trabecular meshwork ages and the lens of the eye becomes larger, developing a cataract. This narrows the drainage angle, reducing the ability of aqueous to drain from the eye. Additionally, in some patients, the zonules that attach the lens to the iris rub against the posterior iris, releasing pigment that further blocks the outflow pathway. This, in addition to genetic predisposition in some patients, leads to elevated intraocular pressure. This increased pressure goes on to damage the optic nerve, described as cupping. When this occurs, medical therapy should be initiated. Since as many as 50% of patients fail medical eye drop therapy, early cataract extraction can be performed to open the angle, and goniotomy should be performed to remove the damaged trabecular meshwork to help improve aqueous flow. Patients with advanced glaucoma due to worsening outflow will need an additional intervention. Dr. Daniel LaRoche is a board-certified ophthalmologist and glaucoma specialist and president of Advanced Eye Care of New York. He is a graduate of New York University and Cornell University Medical College and inventor of the intrascleral ciliary sulcus suprachoroidal microtube technique, a surgical treatment for glaucoma. This microtube shunt procedure should only be used in patients with glaucoma whom have had their cataracts removed. This procedure allows aqueous fluid to safely drain to the suprachoroidal space without the risk of corneal edema, which can occur when a tube is placed in the anterior chamber. Under local anesthesia, an inferotemporal conjunctival opening is made to place the microtube in this quadrant. A small partial thickness scleral flap is made to place the tube. A micro-opening is made superiorly to place a viscoelastic gel into the eye to expand the space between the posterior iris and the intraocular lens. This is where the silicone microtube will be positioned. A small 23-gauge needle is used to make an incision into the ciliary sulcus. Then the silicone microtube is placed. The position is confirmed with a second instrument. The microtube is then tied to the eye. Then another micro-opening is made to access the suprachoroidal space. The posterior end of the tube is inserted into the suprachoroidal space. This connection allows the aqueous to drain to the suprachoroidal space. This bypasses the damaged trabecular meshwork to successfully lower intraocular pressure. The scleral flap is then sutured closed. The viscoelastic gel is left in the anterior chamber. Postoperative steroids and antibiotics should be given. Dr. LaRoche has had excellent results lowering the intraocular pressure. Since glaucoma is a lifelong disease that can worsen with age, a patient's intraocular pressure should still be checked periodically. Additional medical therapy or repeat surgery may be needed. Diet, exercise, and mindfulness are important aspects for glaucoma care as well. For additional surgical training for physicians and consultations for patients, Dr. LaRoche can be reached at 718-217-0424 or 212-663-0473 and by email at info at Thank you for watching.